So right after the mass airflow sensor, we've got here an air pressure sensor. This pipe will obviously go into the turbocharger, which is located down there. It will get pressurized. The air will travel to the pipe under there into the intercooler. Then the pipe will come out through this way and it will go into the intake manifold. So right before the pipe goes into the intake manifold, we've got another air pressure sensor. That's going to be the most important one. Now the thing is that when you read the live data from the scan tool, you're going to use that sensor, not that one, because that one is going to be more or less the atmospheric pressure. So let's read the values from this one because it's a lot easier to get access. So you're going to need a T20. And when you remove it, it has to come out a little bit harder. On the connector, we've got a safety clip. Okay, we've got three pins in there. And you can see the sensor is covered in oil. And this will mess up with the readings. Because in theory, we've got here an oil separator, but this cannot be efficient all the time. The thing you do is connect an oil catch can in between this point and this hose so we've got here with the blue line the intake manifold absolute pressure sensor but we've got here an interesting situation when the engine rpm was kind of steady and the load value was going a little bit down and then up we can see that the blue line the air pressure sensor it's more following the green line more than the orange line the load value it's a lot more relevant when you compare a value from an air sensor or even the oxygen sensor because the load value is going to tell us how much power it's the engine producing and when the engine is producing more power it's going to use more fuel more air so we have here the command to decrease the load value but the air pressure it's still going to be a little bit longer up and then it's also going to decrease and that's because it's going to take time until that air pressure will decrease now let's prepare the voltmeter I'm going to connect this black terminal on the ground. There is a ground here. Let's also put the car battery on charge. So let's see, I'm holding the connector this way and I'm going to start with this pin. It looks like it's pin number one and we've got nothing. We need to find the pin with five volts. And this is the one, pin number three has five volts. I'm going to reconnect the sensor. The middle one is going to be the signal wire. We've got 3.7 volts. Obviously, if I'm going to increase the pressure here, the voltage will increase. And if I decrease the pressure, the voltage will decrease. This sensor is going to measure a value which is lower than this pressure at the moment because this is the atmospheric pressure and this is the value. Now I'm going to go to the second sensor. I'm going to start with the wire from this side. Okay, on this one we've got nothing. On the middle one we've got 1 volts. Then on the last one we need to find the 5 volts. Okay. So basically when it comes to reading... So basically when it comes to reading the value from that sensor before the intake manifold... So basically when it comes to reading the value from that sensor before the intake manifold, you can use the OBD2 scanner, regular one. But then if you want to see the values from this sensor, you need to go into the Mercedes scanning mode, which you can access, for example, from one of these scan tools. That's a little bit confusing because I don't see why they shouldn't give the information very clearly on the OBD2 platform. But anyway, in the future, hopefully I'm going to make a video about how to install an oil catch can on this engine. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and check out the other videos I made about this car. Have a nice day, take care, and I will see you in the next video.